Who was the first person to be infected with COVID-19? This question has plagued many since the beginning of the coronavirus outbreak, but there hasn't been a clear answer yet, even from the scientists around the world who are probing the origin of the virus. There have been guesses that the first novel coronavirus case might have appeared in mid-November in 2019, but the recent China WHO joint study on the origins of SARS-CoV-2 conducted in Wuhan from January 14th to February 10th sets the onset date of the earliest COVID-19 case at December 8th, 2019. But was this the first person infected? We still don't know. So what do we call the patient in correct scientific term? There are two terms in the epidemiology language, primary case and index case. According to The Lancet, the primary case refers to the person who first brings a disease into a group of people, like to a family, community or country. The index case is the patient in an outbreak who is first noticed by the health authorities and who makes them aware that an outbreak might be emerging. In this case, the person who is so far considered to be the first to have infected by the novel coronavirus is called an index case. Let's look at another example to be clearer on these terminologies. In the investigation of a cluster epidemic of COVID-19 in Ningbo, published on the Chinese Journal of Epidemiology, a 64-year-old female appeared to have the symptoms of COVID-19 on January 18th. However, instead of going to the doctors, she chose to take medications on her own. A few days later, her daughter had similar symptoms and went to a fever clinic on January 26 and was confirmed a COVID-19 case the next day. Therefore, we can say that in this family, the 64-year-old mother was the primary case and the daughter was the index case. Now back to the first known case in Wuhan. If the patient is considered to be the first human that spread the virus, why can we not call him a primary case? The answer is simple. It's because he is considered to be the first rather than he is the first. For some pandemics, the primary case may never be found. For years, people have blamed the first person who brought HIV into America. This might have been the primary case in the US. However, who passed it on to this person and whether the carrier was asymptomatic? The answer to this question remains elusive till date. Based on the current research and study, the possibility of eradicating COVID-19 from the world in a short period of time is not very high. Because A, the fact that this virus can spread through asymptomatic transmission makes it more difficult than others to trace the origins. B, worldwide inoculation won't finish anytime soon. The Economist has been very frank about it. In an article titled, Vaccine Nationalism means that poor countries will be left behind, it said in some countries, coverage won't be widespread until 2023, if ever. And C, even after the global vaccination is concluded with humans gaining herd immunity, we still need to take animal vector into consideration. Unlike chickenpox and smallpox, where pandemics could spread only through human-to-human -human transmission, there remains a chance that the SARS-CoV-2 virus spreads from animals to humans. But this only applies if people resort to illegal animal trade. Anyway, to figure out the primary case of COVID-19 will still take a while. Or worse, will never be known. But without any scientific basis, guesses and hypotheses will never be tenable, let alone conspiracies. As Liang Wannian, the team leader of the Chinese side of the China WHO Joint Expert Panel, said people need to leave the origins tracing work to professionals and scientists. That's it for today. If you want to watch more videos about coronavirus, click here and subscribe. And Ning, I'll see you next time.